Let's take a little look here at our um, where our nose strut goes into the torque tube assembly. Uh, shock absorbers here on either side. If you've got a 1977 or later Cheetah or Tiger, you've got shock absorbers. And what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to take out the bolts that are hidden underneath this RTV. As you can see, I've exposed the head. Pull the bolts out, pull out the torque tube. Then we will remove these two bolts from the shock absorber so we can pick this U-channel up and inspect underneath it to see if there's any corrosion on the torque tube. And then we'll go ahead and uh, repack the bearings. Uh, in this particular case, we're also going to be uh, cleaning, roll locking down to bare metal. I don't feel any pits that are that would uh, that would sacrifice this torque tube. So we'll get on with the work and show you how. Okay, so now we've removed uh, the, the close tolerance bolts. These are close tolerance. They're fairly expensive and they're starting to be kind of hard to find. Ken and I had to scrounge around, but the bolts are out. Here's the big moment of truth. How long has it been since this torque tube's been out? Oh, it moves. No big deal. Let's just go ahead and finish pulling it out. Hey, Matt, look. Fingerprints on the airplane. And there we go. We have removed the torque tube from the aircraft. Now let's go ahead and remove the uh, front tire to begin the disassembly. One side of this bolt, it's a threaded rod, it has two uh, nuts on it. One's a nylock, the other one is a cotter pin. So for the cotter pin side, I'll be holding it manually. Okay, we've gotten the tire out finally, and as you can see, it's just a threaded rod on each end. One end has a cotter pin, this end has the uh, nylon uh, castellated nut to hold it. Let's take out the rest of the stuff. For that, we'll need to remove the fork and the fairing. Let's first take off the uh, pegs. This is where your tow bar pegs go. These are half inch bolts. They come right out. A little bushing. We're going to go ahead and clean all that up and paint it. Replace the hardware. there. Seven sixteenths. We go on the inside. And now we're going to remove the two anchor bolts for your fork. These pin it to the inside, and the axle. These pin it on either side. The axle holds it, so now it's rigidly affixed to the fairing, or the fairing is rigidly affixed to the uh, landing gear. So here you can see a cotter pin. It hasn't been out in a while. But the cotter pin on an airplane, this is forward, forward of the aircraft. And you notice our cotter pins go in from the rear forward and bent over. That's so grass can't get up in here, splay the legs out, and cause you a problem. So this is the proper way to install a cotter pin. We're going to go ahead and pull it now and um, take the fork out and get the uh, strut out of the fork.